All right, let's see if we can get this off with the Sawzall. I'm not so sure we can. It seems like this case is really thick. Here we go. This is the inside of one. Pretty interesting. Let's see if I can pull the guts out of it. There's a lot of metal shavings in there, obviously. There's a big, there's magnets in here too. So, uh, let's see if I can't pull this uh, whole unit out because it seems to be loose walking around in there. So, yeah, this motor, that's why that motor was so springy in there on the bottom. There's two more that are down in there. Well, there you have it. The, the internals are out of it. I'll probably uh, try to disassemble this and see what I can find in there. Okay, well, a few things I noticed. Uh, looks like we got a little oil pump here that uh, pulls oil that's in the uh, sealed container. That's how it lubricates the system. And I'm going to try to find out what's on the inside of this thing. So, it looks like a uh, seven millimeter is the size we're looking for. Start taking this thing apart if I can. Put some gloves on so I can actually grip this thing because it's still covered in oil. Part of the uh, the valve in it broke, and the reason I say that is because if you look in here, you see. Uh, let me see if I can point this out. Right here, right. Well, that, that's a strong magnet. Right there, where that little uh, flap is that you see is open. There, it looks like it broke off. It looks like I had a valve or something that. Uh, that little end valve broke, and that's why it wasn't uh, working properly. I believe uh, it, it didn't have a good suction on the pump whenever uh, they cut the uh, 
took the Freon out and cut the line. It didn't have a good suction, so seems like there's a problem with the valves. And I don't know if this is a, it seems like these compressors have been failing a lot and I don't know if it's the valve design or what, but that definitely looks broke. I don't know if you uh, agree with me, but uh, and I don't know. I haven't looked at any others before, so I don't know if that is a uh, if that's supposed to be like that. But I would think if it's a valve, it's supposed to cover up that hole entirely uh, and not partially. So uh, that's probably why this compressor was bad. All right, well, let's finish taking it apart. See what else we can get. in there so uh, these springs will probably come out now yeah so these are just oh those are actually fixed oh hmm. they're just stuck so here's four springs and it looks like there's four more springs on there this thing's full of springs Uh, I believe on these linear compressors, the uh, the uh, suction port is actually here. Uh, this hole here, it's not actually attached to anything because uh, the return line actually goes into the, the sealed case that it sits in. So it actually pulls the, uh, the Freon back into here uh, through this port. So it actually has uh, two sets of valves. It has like a, a valve here inside here and then there's that valve on the other end that you could see uh, that was looked like it was broken um, so but basically the, the Freon goes straight through the center of that piston out the other end uh, into that uh, end cap that I took off earlier so this I guess it may just come right out I don't know Oh, there it went. All right, yeah, it's got a strong magnetic field. All right, y'all. So it looks like that's the piston. I don't know if you can see that in the light. Um, that's actually the piston there. And that moves in and out. And that's that little valve assembly I was telling you about that's broken camera's not focusing but yeah you can see it broken there hmm wonder what caused it to fail I wonder if it just had a bad part and it fatigued it or something what caused it to break like that I don't know. Let's set that aside. And now it looks like we just got this, the actual cylinder in here, the cylinder wall. Looks just like a, looks like it's honed. Just like a engine cylinder. 